Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Two Wanderers, your perfect travel buddy on YouTube. If you haven't watched our latest journey video in Jodhpur yet, you should definitely try it out by clicking the top right card. Get ready to join us today as we tour the colorful city of Udaipur, the formal capital of the Marwar Kingdom and also it is known as the city of lakes and palaces. Yes folks, we will be touring the sites around lakes and palaces which you will like watching with us. Before watching, do subscribe our channel if you haven't already. Chalo, let's explore the majesty of Udaipur together. Ambrigat Ambrigat is a must visit place in Udaipur and it is located near the waterfront of Lake Pichola in Udaipur. Taj Hotel You can witness a jewel floating in the middle of Lake Pichola. From this ghat, you can see back view of Haveli, Jagmandir and City Palace. In early morning, you can see elderly people doing yoga, taking baths in the lake and doing few other activities. On the other side, this cart will be busy filled with wedding photo shoots. However, this will not disturb any of your leisure time. Ambrigat is popular for the lakeside view stays and lakeside restaurants. In the evening, you will now enjoy the city lights and especially the city palace. There are many restaurants offer candlelight dinner, so don't miss to take your loved one for dinner. It opens all day between 7 am to 8 pm with an entry fee of just 20 rupees per person. City Palace is located on the eastern side of Lake Pichola and it shows up the rich history of Rajasthan. Built entirely from granite and marble, the palace is truly a work of art. It combines Rajput and Mughal styles and tells the story of Udaipur's royal past. Built over 400 years, City Palace was initiated by Maharana Uday Singh II in 1559. The City Palace is not just one, but four and more palaces combined together. Each palace inside the City Palace has a unique pattern and designs like glasswork, mirror tiles, designs carved out of marble and even ornamental tiles. It served as the seat of the Mewar Kingdom, witnessing centuries of historical events. There are various structures and complexes in the palace that is to be noted. A part of the city palace was converted into a museum that allows the public to learn more about the culture and heritage of the Mewar Kingdom. Located centrally in Udaipur, the palace is open daily with an entry fee of Rs. 400. Guided tours are available and photography is permitted in most areas. We recommend at least 4 to 5 hours to see this entire palace. Jagdish Temple is one of the famous temples of Udaipur. Located in the city palace complex, this temple is made in the Indo-Aryan style of architecture. Built by Maharana Jagat Singh in 1651, the temple is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. The main shrine houses a remarkable black stone idol of Lord Vishnu, while stone elephants guard the entrance and a brass Garuda adorns the doorway. This three-story temple is a wonder of architecture that comprises beautifully carved pillars, decorated ceilings, painted walls and lush halls. Can you believe that in those times, 1.5 million rupees were spent to raise this structure. If you're in and around City Palace, it's just a two minutes walk away. The timings are from 4.15 am to 1 pm and 5.15 pm to 8 pm. Please note that the winter timings may vary. Lake Pichola Lake Pichola is widely known spot and you will never miss visiting here. 
and especially a boat ride in this peaceful lake is highly recommended please go for it you can buy boat tickets at city palace and the boating point is just after city palace the boat ride begins at rameshwar ghat goes to lake palace then jagmandir and around taj hotel If you have time visit Jagmandir for a beautiful view. The sunset from the boat is like a magic with the water keep changing color. Blue in the morning, golden at noon, orange during sunset. At night the reflection of palace light on the water is breath taking. Heard of Bikaner's Karni Mata Temple? Dedicated to same goddess is this famous temple of Udaipur, also known as Sri Mansa Purna Karni Mata Temple. It is situated at the hill top and can be reached by stairs or ropeway. We chose the ropeway, which costed rupees hundred and ten both ways. After purchasing your ticket, you will be directed to wait for your turn for the ropeway. Things work on a first come first serve basis, and you will have to wait for your number to be called. In the meanwhile there is a pleasant waiting area with seats restrooms and small shops to buy snacks or refreshments we had to wait for 30 minutes for our number to be called the cabin can fit about 6 people and the journey takes 4 to 5 minutes while going up you can have some stunning views of the old city and lake pichola upon reaching the top you are rewarded with breathtaking panoramic views If you are lucky enough to visit as the sun is setting you can admire the changing colors of the sky and the mesmerizing reflection over the lake you can view some of the best udaipur tourist spots and iconic landmarks from here the temple has a stone idol of karni mata herself beautifully decorated and imposing the ticket system on a first come first serve basis also works the same while going down and we had to wait for another half an hour The Karni Mata ropeway operates every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. However, the Karni Mata temple is open every day from 4 a.m. to 7:30 p.m. So plan your visit accordingly and do let us know your experience. Tajanga Palace is also known as Monsoon Palace. This palace is little far away from Udaipur city. It is located on a Bansandra peak of Haravali hill. If you have time, you can also visit Tajanga Biological Park. It is located right next to Monsoon Palace entrance gate. We hired a scooter and the ride was very pleasant in the morning. The earlier you go, you will get a better view of the hilly region. This palace is built with stunning white marble. As per the plan laid out by Maharana Sajan Singh due to the premature death of the king, later completed by his successor Maharana Fateh Singh. The royal family used this monsoon palace as the hunting lodge as well as to watch the monsoon clouds which bought the name of monsoon palace. The view from the top is really mesmerizing. Don't miss to capture panoramic view view of the city and Aravalli hills. The sunset point is the most attractive site of the palace during sunset the palace illuminates the glow of golden orange finally the palace has been featured in james bond movie named octopussy located on the banks of pati sagar lake sahelion ki badi is also known as the garden of the maids of honor It was constructed in the 18th century by Maharana Sangram Singh especially for the princess and her 48 maids who accompanied her after her marriage as dowry that is where the name came from sahelio means friends
The garden features four water pools which are decorated with various fountains, carved kiosks and marble elephants. It is also known for its bird fountains and lotus lake. This garden was built to offer all of them pleasurable moments away from the political conspiracy of the court. The queen with her maids and female companions often used to come here for a stroll and spend their time at leisure. And now the tourists visit this garden with the same purpose. Open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. with an entry fee of only rupees 10. Drop a visit if you are anywhere near Fateh Sagar Lake. Fateh Sagar Lake. Fateh Sagar Lake is situated in the Udaipur. It is an artificial lake named after Maharana Fateh Singh of Udaipur and Meva. According to the historical information, in 1888, the first lake got washed away due to floods. This is the time when Maharana Fateh Singh came to rescue and ordered the construction of a dam. 800 meter long dam was built on the eastern side of the lake. If you are here, don't miss to take the speedboat. You will really enjoy the speed. Bagorki Haveli is an old building near Pichola Lake in Udaipur. It is very near to city palace, Jagmandir and Gangur Ghat. This ancient building built in 18th century by a former Prime Minister of Mawar, Amar Singh Baba. And now this is a museum. A cool thing is to watch the Darohar folk dance is between 7 to 8 pm. And you have to pay 60 rupees for an entry and if you wanted to see the folk dance it's 90 rupees. The Haveli is open every day from 9.30 am to 5.30 pm. You can easily spend about 2 hours looking around this hobby. We came to end of our Udaipur journey. What we suggest is, don't visit Udaipur in summer, it will be extremely hot. The best time to visit Udaipur is between July to February and the weather will be quite pleasant. And the temperature will be less than 35 degrees. If you don't own a vehicle, you can rent a two-wheeler for 250 or 300 rupees per day or hire an auto or taxi. We could visit all these attractions in two days. If you know any additional interesting spot, please do share in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed our video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon in our next wonderful video. Thank you.